Lucy Arnaz, and you're watching My Long Island on Fios One. Condra Hall, which is an estate that was built between 1906 to 1912, and it was built by a Mr. Brown for his wife. It was modeled after a chateau in France. There is a on-leash dog park. There's all sorts of dogs down there and they're on leash and it's beautiful rolling hills that go down to the Long Island Sound. There's a beautiful picturesque view of the Huntington Harbor Lighthouse and also there's a beautiful um, boathouse that he built with his mansion that you can also see in the view going down to the lighthouse. I'm a, very passionate about dogs, but also I'm very passionate about my artwork. So today's exhibit was something that I wanted to combine together, um, the dogs and my artwork. And it's all about the dogs that are down there, dogs that are still living and some that have passed away. I do watercolor, I do pastel, I do oil painting. I'm a traditional artist. Uh, my style tends to be a little more impressionistic, which would be modeled after the artists such as Monet, Manet, Degas. People have said that my um, portraits really portray the spirit of the animal and that's why I like to meet the animal in person because I get to know the characteristics of the dog or the cat or whatever it may be. Um, I find out a little bit more from the owners. The landscapes that you see today with the dogs are all from Condor Hall. Um, I thought that that would give people a good idea that haven't been there, what Condor Hall is about, how beautiful the estate is. It is labeled as a historic Gold Coast mansion on the North Shore of Long Island. As you drive into the park, there are these beautiful old, I believe they're beech trees, and they're over hundreds of years old, and there's about maybe eight in the front acreage of the estate and as you drive in you see these trees but through the trees you see the estate itself and that's something that I captured in one of my art pieces. My favorite paintings of this group are the painting that I just recently did of my dog that passed away four weeks ago, Wrangler. Um, he was not doing well and I hadn't really gotten any good pictures of him and my husband just happened to take a great one of him before we put him down and between my husband and myself I was able to get a beautiful painting. This is not only just a beautiful from an artistic standpoint um, but uh, there's so many memories in this room for me. I know all the dogs I go to Coindra Hall twice a day with my, I did with my dog Prince and I do now with uh, my dog Sky. For me, she did this portrait of, of my dog Prince and it hangs in our bedroom, you know, right opposite the bed and we see him every morning even though he's not here anymore and um, it means the world to me. Anne is a friend of mine and she did a oil of my little Opie James that was a frequent visitor to Coindra Hall until his demise in September. He, he died, sadly, and so it was difficult for me to come down here, but it's nice, and I wanted to support her because I love dogs, and they're a big part of my life, and she's an amazing artist. The painting that's there with the two dogs on the path in Kinder Hall, I enjoyed it so much because I received the invitation to come here a short while after I lost my dog, and just the feeling that evoked of two puppies in the woods and happy and it just gave me such a happy, peaceful feeling. My parents commissioned uh, her to paint a picture of my, or a portrait of my dog, Summit, right after she died. It blew me away. I just, when I opened it up for the first time, it was Christmas and the tears just fell out. It's, it really nails her. It's just a great, great portrait. Of her.